as we left Richtersveld, we saw an ominous dust cloud stretching to the horizon, and that meant trouble. And to ensure that you get notified of our future adventures, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, and you'll get notified. Thank you very much to our patrons. It's your support that makes these videos possible. So, something happened now. We were driving through a quite a severe dust storm, and all of a sudden the car started to lose power, Okay, that seems to have been a very quick fix. We're not sure if it's fixed yet. Cleaned our air filter, moved our battery to the right position, and refastened the oil, uh, the diesel filter that's come off in the road. So let's see if the food is going. The light is off. We'll have to drive a bit. But yeah, that seems to have been a quick fix. That engine light came on again, and eventually we had to take the vehicle to Toyota to clean the mass air filter sensor. But then it was off again on our adventure. And we are at Wintermark Hot Springs. The um, mission for this morning is make it uh, 100 meters to the road to see um, if we all can be lazy and take a shortcut. Let's go. Just have um, a look who's carrying. Okay. Easy peasy, pump and squeezy. in the Ruchtersveld we are finding ourselves at Rimfasma and we are at the bottom hot, hot spring pool, it's one of three and it's really lovely. 
<laughs> to get rid of all the dust and to make up for the, for the, <laughs> the eight days we never bought. Um, a lovely Speak campsite, one of the few campsites that you can bring your pet. There is communal showers, toilets, and one campsite worth a, a long drop and its own um, and its own um, zinc. Own zinc. Yeah. We camped there for two days and then had to move because we decided to stay, stay another day because it's so lovely. There is a pair of resident black hawks. The baboons scream eagles. in the evening. Eagles? Oh, sorry, black eagles. They we know them. our birds. <laughs> there is a <laughs> pair of resident black eagles. Mm. Baboons scream at night. And uh, yeah, and it's lovely. Um, we're in the coldest pool, and um, we'll go up to the warmer pool, warmer and warmer soon, pool really soon. Really soon. Because it's a bit chilly. But this pool is the pretty. It's the prettiest. So we started, started at the pretty one. Yes. Okay. Over now. And then we had to leave the magical valley of Rimfas Mark Hot Springs as we embarked on a new chapter in our adventure. Our first border crossing in many, many months as we kept heading north. And it's our first border crossing in more than a year and a half. I've got a fresh, thick, Green mamba with no stamps that uh, get its first stamp. Hopefully, one of many, many more as we cross into Namibia from South Africa. And let's hope this is the first of many. And just like that, our Groen Mamba has got its first stamps in not just two but three as they marked us as arrival and then as departing and arrival again. So, a very good start to our brand new passports. Our uh, adventures in Namibia starts. We've decided to do an inland loop before we heading back to the coast where we will reconnect with our coastal routes and hopefully find some more shipwrecks because currently we've only found one shipwreck in the two month long road. So, we're back in the land of the gravel roads. not very hygienic that's the, probably the place where you're gonna pick up COVID because there was a lot of um, walking past other people touching points where other people have, uh, have come to but yeah we through and we are looking forward to a few months in a bit yeah hopefully that's enough and we will be mostly on gravel roads which is always uh, makes the food always very happy Landscape has definitely changed more to a, what we would call a Kalahari look. Um, yellow grass, black rock, and yeah, well, let's let's see what this part of the movie brings to us. So, in our next episode, we visit the Brukaros Crater, a lovely place to camp. Corinne takes lovely walks in Namibia. We do another cleanup where somebody else decided to throw a lot of glass, and Ufudu is put through his paces as we take a technical drive up and down to Brukaros Crater. So please remember to come back next time. And to ensure that you get notified of our future adventures, please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon and you'll get notified. Thank you very much to our patrons. It's your support that makes these videos possible.